welcome, Eric. It's fantastic to have you here. Thanks. You know, um, I just want to ask you, you know, so to have you here at Open Knowledge Festival has been fantastic. What, one, I just want to ask you a bit about that. Have you, you know, if you, I mean, what have you found? What, what have you liked about it? Yeah, this has been great. This is my first Open Knowledge Festival. Um, I'm thrilled by just how much, how many, many different people there are, how many different organizations and countries are represented. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever been at an event in our space where we have 50 countries, people that are doing everything from the more traditional open government work that I'm used to, to open science and uh, physical hacking. And that's, um, I, I think it's, it's great to have this chance to um, step a little further outside of our comfort zone and be challenged by both how things are different across the world and also by how uh, what we're doing relates or follows or doesn't follow what other open movements have done. Yeah, no, I really think of that as like kind of crossing the streams, um, but in the good way, yeah. unlike Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, so one of the things, your talk was really fascinating. You just, you just, just come off stage, as it were, uh, you know. Um, you talked a lot about like the key, th you know, while we've made a huge amount of progress, um, as it were, one of the things we kind of have is very limited infrastructure. We've kind of had a few great examples, but at the moment we don't have stuff like, we don't have the roads. Right. Um, what are kind of key things that you're looking to see that you want that you want to see happen in the next kind of few years, and that your you particularly and your team are looking to kind of push forward on. Yeah, so our, our team's big push is for a couple of small of, of the specific domains that we're really interested in. We're going to be very active in looking at can we uh, work with groups to set some common data formats, say around data in elections, around representation. But but more than that, um, that's a lot of work, and uh, we don't really want to be involved, we don't need to be involved in every single data uh, standards process, but uh, I think that's where lightweight uh, work around interoperable identifiers can come in. So can we come together as a community, think about what are the few elements where you really want to see joins between data? Uh, so we, we've started that with um, political districts. So yeah. if we have one data set that is, this person is the representative in this district, another data set that is, uh, this is um, the census data, the demographic data about this district. We can now connect them more easily. Uh, that was the easy first step. Now it's uh, how do we do that on people, on organizations, right. on bills. And just that alone, that sounds very boring and techy, but I think it can, can unlock so many new uses of, uh, of this data that we aren't able to think about today because we're just stuck with one level of separation from the data to the user. Right, and I mean, I know we also, I mean, in fact, a collaboration with you around budgets. Yes. It's another area where following the money, you'd think most of the questions people want to ask are sadly turn out not to be answered by a single data set. You know, right. you want to connect contracts with spending or with budgets and so on. So I think it's a really, and it is one of those challenges at the moment, which is sometimes people think, hey, we've got this open data, but they don't realize why at the moment we're not maybe getting some of the payoffs we'd like to see yep. because it's that next step. And, you know, so one of, I mean, I think one of the other things you were talking about was kind of the ecosystem and the community. How, I mean, I mean, obviously, just to say, you, you, your thanks to support from Google, this event has made possible. It's one of those examples where we're connecting together different groups. Yeah. Are there other things that you think you, one can be doing there? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, uh, we're thrilled to be helping help uh, make events like this possible. But I think be, we're, we also um, think we, along with groups like Open Knowledge, are in this unique spot of being these international organizations that cut across um, the individual efforts taking place in different countries. So uh, we want to do more to, uh, a lot of this can be informal, but just bringing together people that are talking. Uh, Interconnecting and, yeah. people, and not we, rather than just data sets. Exactly, yes. Uh, and I think we've, we had a, uh, we had this great session yesterday on uh, global elections where uh, we did, had no idea that people from 20 countries were here that were all working on very similar projects around elections. And as a result of that, we'll start a mailing list. It's a very lightweight solution, but have some conversations. Maybe that can lead to uh, more um, communities that we can plug more people into around what's worked, both uh, in terms of code, but one of the points that Justin asked about in the, Justin Aronstein asked about in the keynote was uh, not just what works technically, but what works procedurally. So how do we share stories and get people talking about, this is how I, uh, engage successfully around an election. This is how I engage successfully around the budget. We're, we're excited to help do what we can to do more of that. I think absolutely, I mean, what always reminds me, we always say that open has like a social
you know, well, a social, legal, and technical yep. dimension, and it's the social that's often the hardest yep. uh, by a long way. Um, so, you know, that's a key. I mean, a building a standard is actually most of the work is not the technical work of like what is actually in it, but getting buy in from everyone yep. involved. Um, I thought I had one last thing I wanted to come to you that I thought was really powerful in your talk was you kind of talked at the very beginning of just. Well, it kind of resonated with you, it was about what open data was. You kind of said people quite a lot are saying like, hey, this is open data. Right. But in fact, vis-a-vis -vis the open definition, they're not doing machine readable. They're yep. not actually even doing openly licensed. And that was great to see those statistics. Is there anything that we could be doing, therefore, to kind of push out the open definition? Or, I mean, for us, the other thing we see is the proliferation of licenses. Yes. Is there any way that one could be collaborating to say, look, open means openness in the definition. And here we give you, you know, do we give you a, a badge? Do we, like bug you in some way, you know, in the same way we've had with open source, how do we, you know, like license choose on GitHub, what can we do to be driving more compliance with the open definition when people, you know, we don't want to be talking about open data and it's not actually open right. data. Yeah, and I think, and yeah, you, uh, open knowledge has been one of the strongest proponents of this and I, uh, I time has come. It's, it's time, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's tough, there's no one thing to make this work and it's, uh, I think it's, one is just talking more about it, saying more, uh, particularly as, as a company like Google, we can say things like we believe in open data, but it's harder for us to get into the details like today of what exactly does that mean. So I think we, we hope we can be a little more vocal about it. But also, um, I think there are ways in which we should be doing more to recognize the people that are doing well. Yes. Um, it's, you get the political points for opening data. You don't necessarily get the same political and PR rewards for fully uh, understanding fully, yeah. the open definition. And I think that's something where we uh, could think more about um, how do we all reward uh, reward that? Um, because it's, like, it's, it's too easy to have a, ha I have a hackathon say that's your reward for um, yeah. opening up some data when it's not enough. I talked to uh, Aryan from the Open State Foundation yeah. in the Netherlands and he had this great model of they, they only consider hackathons as a reward for doing work right. in the right way and I think as a community we can do more of that. We can do more of that, that recognition. Well I want to say so one is just thank you uh, again. Um, I you know I this is I think this has been great and I you know we look forward to you know I hope you'll yep. be back. I yes. hope this has been fantastic. This I hope great. next year wherever it is we hope you'll be back. Uh, it's been fantastic having you. Thank you so much. Thank you.